Hi, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, as the title depicts, I'm gonna be opening up a new corset. So let's just get started. I have my scissors. I will link the video as to why I purchased this corset. I'm not gonna go into detail about all that. So, you know, just the receipt from Orchard Corset. Congratulations. It's not a burrito. Usually they roll them up into burritos, but we're just gonna rip it open. Do I look happy? <laughs> And the reason why I have this black corset on is because I want to compare and contrast both of them for myself and obviously for you guys too. So, here it is. Interesting way of uh, wrapping the corset. So this is a size 26. I will put all the information in the description obviously below. This is the 201. It's linked backwards. And I'm not loving that already to begin with. Let's unhook them. I mean, the satin part is gorgeous. It's a baby pink. It looks kind of cream, creamy white on camera. I'm not loving this. I'm like feeling some type of way about it. But it could be, I don't know, why, why, why? Or should corset, why? I'm not gonna return it just because of that, because then I'll have to wait even longer and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'm feeling some type of way. <laughs> Shh, stop it. Stop it. Okay, it obviously comes with a modesty panel. This Timeless Trends one does not come with a modesty panel, which I love because I hate modesty panels. We're gonna just try this on. I can't put it on closed, obviously. Duh. But I kind of wanted to see like, okay. So you can see that it's about an inch or so longer than the black one. If I turn around, you see it's in the middle and it is about an inch or so longer. Untangle those ties. Ooh, balance, core strength. Oh, also, I'm gonna need to redo this. I don't know if you're aware, but this corset, I relaced it and I relaced it super incorrectly. So I'm gonna have to figure out how they laced it and then do the same thing. Let's go on this foot now. I'm just loosening up the corset. I don't know how much I'm gonna have to loosen it up. We will see. It looks like there's a pen mark on the modesty panel. And on the ribbon, it's just a tad bit, like, looks like dust maybe. When I pay a lot of money for items, I inspect the shit out of them. So that is what I am doing at the moment, which is not like, I'm not wrong for doing that. If I am, let me know in the comments. The busk has like, you see those dots? That's just, I guess, markings from where they were supposed to put these things in. I guess they marked it on the corset, which I don't know if that's gonna show or not. I mean, I don't wear corsets for costumes. Okay, it's not gonna show, so it's okay. I don't wear corsets for costumes. I wear them for waist training and digestive issues. Digestive, digestive issues. This is what would show. It is a little dirty. Right there. That's just part of the corset. But yeah, I don't like that. Whatever. I mean, this corset is gonna get dirty because I'm gonna be wearing it all the time. All right, let's take off the current corset and put the new one on. I always use you guys as a mirror. If you ever wonder why I turn around, it's not to show you my bum. <laughs> it's to do, <laughs> it's to use you as a mirror. My brother would always be like, why do you show them your butt? And I'm like, I'm not. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Already roo. So garter belt, let's go with the bottom, obvi. And I'm 
gonna have to season this obviously so I'm not gonna you know make it too tight bear with me here the laces are really long because I loosened it up maybe a little too much you can already tell that this covers a lot more like I love it already it's very comfortable and the length so far so good I think I'm doing it wrong two 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 Can you tell that that goes way lower already? I'm not gonna tighten it up anymore. Like there's obviously gonna be gaps for a little bit because I wanna season it correctly so it molds very nicely to my curves, my body. We will tie it up and I'm gonna hold my black corset against it so we can kind of get a better understanding of the length differences. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the black one during the night while I sleep because it's so comfortable to sleep in and then I'll wear my pink one during the day. I think that would be cool. Okay, you can already tell the difference of how long it is. You probably shouldn't do this, but do you see that? Do you guys see why I wanted to get this pink corset? Because look how short my black one is compared to my this new pink one. Once it's like, once the pink one is like even more closed, it's gonna give me way more tummy control. Like, look at that. And I like how the pink one is higher on the hips because my hips are right here. And when I sit down for the whole day, like editing, watching videos, etc., I don't want my hips to feel, because my with my long line one, it got numb. And anyways, just not, not cute, not a cute look. This is obviously not a very cute look at all, two corsets in one. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that difference. And ta-da, no wait. <laughs> Ta-da! This is gonna be used for waist training and before you say that's too short to be used as a waist training corset, eh, whatever. Keep your mean comments to yourself. Lucy Corsetry on her website mentions that the 201 is good for waist training, so I'll take her word for it before I take someone else's. <laughs> I love it. Other than the fact that it has like little hints of dirt and stuff, what do you guys think? I give this a 9 out of 10. It would be a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't dirty. Me with a dark background. <laughs> kind of kind of awkward, but you guys like it. And then the side, obviously the back, other side. Yay! <laughs>